welcome flip clock fans and here I find myself on eBay digging around and usually what I do on eBay is look at the most newly listed clocks because I want to see what's up there because I check eBay quite frequently just for fun uh, I do have a warped sense of fun but anyway today I was looking at it as far as what is the most expensive flip clocks on eBay or the highest priced and it got me thinking about well the whole state of flip clockery on on the, on eBay and internet websites and what people are actually paying these days. Uh, it's really taken off, as many of you know. Uh, it makes you wonder if people are actually buying these clocks. But anyway, what I wanted to do is to take a closer look at the top ten high dollar flip clocks on eBay today, which is leap year's day. 2020. Well, here we have an antique French Play-Doh clock, and this is a true antique, and it's priced at $655, and personally, I think it's worth it. Uh, I would like to have that clock, uh, but it's whatever your tastes are. Now, number nine, we're looking at this Copal flip clock. That is a uh, Japanese version. That's the symbol for Thursday there. It's for $659.99. Um, I wouldn't... Uh, refuse that if you gave it to me as a gift, but I'm not going to buy buy that personally. Now here we go. We've got a Patapata Twemco Grayson. Now Patapata, that's what they call flip clocks in Asia, I do believe. This is $679. A nice wall clock. And somebody might pay that for it, believe it or not. They're not going to come down on those prices, Twemco isn't. And here's another Twemco, a DT-17. It's older, and it's a Chinese characters there, Chinese and English, so that's kind of curious for $799. Again, that's not something I would want, but it's up there. Now this, uh, this large flip clock, this hits about 15 inches long, $1,000 for this thing. Um, we're getting pricey. It, I would like someone to follow this, or I would like to follow it and see if that ever gets sold at that price or near that price. Now here we go. We've got a flip clock. This is a Panasonic, and you see a 1200 price, and you think, well, that's a lot. But you see, this seller, he's got to make offer on this. And he will take an offer, but he's not going to take a low ball. I'd, I'd, uh, this guy, he could actually fill up the top 10. He prices a lot of clocks up here in the high dollar range, but every one that I've seen him price, he'll put a, a make offer He's a good restorer. He has all kinds of vintage things. Um, so I would, it's worth taking a look. He's got good clocks and he stands behind them as well. So, number four, we're looking at this Solari Udini Cifra 12. Now, this clock is huge. It's almost as tall as the other one we talked about is wide. It's 13 inches tall and 22 inches wide. It's a huge clock. It would have been like a train station or an airport. $2,800. Looks like it was in good shape, too. Now, number three, we're looking at a Solari Udine Dator 5. Now, the Dator 5 has a big following, and it's uh, over $4,000. And look at the color. Now, that's something I could have for Christmas, I think. Uh, so if you guys want to chip in there and give me that, uh, I wouldn't refuse that. Now, number two, on our most expensive clocks is this big honking thing. It's not as big as it looks. Um... It's uh, what is that? Five, over five thousand dollars on something like that. Um, they say it's a Lari Udini. It doesn't have a model number. Now the number one highest flip clock right now is this Dator 10, and it is a new old stock. And you're talking about it brand new and seventy-eight fifty. And I saw one on First Dibs, another auction site, for t almost twice that much. So. Is it worth it? Well, if you've got the money, I think it is. But all this top 10's got me thinking about what I'm going to call the the wow factor as far as flip clocks and what's going on these days. And as you you all probably know, um, people are pricing these clocks high. This is a Copal 101 uh, Sun, Sunbeam branded uh, for 129 for starting bid. Now this, this are 289 for a buy it now on this Copal, a new a new inbox or new old stock and man that's tough and I, I I would like that now the the 229 here for over $150 now man I remember when those were $60 at most 
don't know if it's worth it, but and then again, same thing here with this 6010. Uh, I've bought those for $30, $40 before, and they're wanting $100 to start. That's what a Groundhog Day clock used to go for three, four years ago. Uh, we got a Bulova for almost $200. Again, is it worth it? I don't know. There's a make offer. Um, it's whatever your taste are. Again, I'd like to know if these things are selling. Now, here's a Copal, and a Copal has a big following. I'm a fan for 130 It's a yellow clock. There you go. Uh, I'd consider that. Personally, I would. Another Copal, and look at the font on that. It's got to be probably black lit for 224 Again, pretty pricey. I'd be surprised if it went for that, but um, if you're a collector. Now, the, the Model 701, um, I've, bought, I've got two of those, and I didn't pay that much for 190 for both of them. Um, here's a Copal. Uh, alarm radio you don't see those very often for 121 and if you're a collector of copal personally i could see paying that kind of money for something like that and there's your copal 101 japan's first flip clock for almost 200 dollars um well if you needed that to complete your collection i could see someone buying that um but who knows it's it's whatever your tastes are i'd like to see where things go from here i'm just going to now go back to ebay here and dream and plan what i'm going to get when I win the lottery, I suppose. Well, I really appreciate, appreciate you taking the time, and if you if you have any comments about what we looked at here today, and any feelings you have about the situation, just let us know.